In today's video, I'm going to be sharing you guys exactly how I track my gross and net sales from eBay and from my eBay dropshipping stores. And there will be a free link down below of how to actually access it. So click that link, select file, make a copy, and copy this over for yourself so you can use this freely. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Hope you're having a great day. My name is Mike, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, for those who are new, I am deeply passionate about e-commerce, high performance, and fitness. Now, this channel is definitely a culmination of all those with a more so a focus on e-commerce. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to be showing you guys my exact step-by-step -step formula for how I track my gross and net profit from my sales from my dropshipping stores. And this took a long time to kind of create, to customize, to make improvements to. And it's something that I use in my stores still to this day. So I want to share it with you below. Now, something like this, most other individuals won't share, but, but I'm happy to share a free template for you guys so you could accurately track your numbers and accurately see how much profit you're making to actually grow your business in the positive direction. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna go over to my computer and show you guys step-by-step step how to take full advantage of the spreadsheet. All right, guys, so I'm now over on my computer. And now I'm going to walk you through how to use this spreadsheet and how you can accurately track your gross and net profit to really get a sense of your numbers for accuracy. So as soon as you click that link down below in the description, it'll take you to the spreadsheet. And then, as I said earlier, you're going to want to go over to where it says file, make a copy, and then click on make a copy over here. And then just obviously rename that. And since I already have it, I don't have to do that. So I'm going to hit close. So starting off with the spreadsheet, I want to show you what the state sales tax table is. Now this is for this year, all of the actual rates of the sales tax. So if a buyer on eBay buys your item, they have to pay sales tax. Now when they pay sales tax, that sales tax amount plus the gross amount of the, the order is mixed in and it does affect your profit. So here's all the rates for that. So it shows you that. So, you know, really you shouldn't adjust these. It'll just mess everything up. So just look at it, but don't um, change anything, okay? So, because it's April right now, we'll go into April of this year, and we'll start off on the left column, which is the overall date. So we'll say today's date, and on the video, it is the 23rd, 2023. And for the store name, we'll just put your store name, supplier, we'll say Walmart, and then the quantity ordered, uh, we'll say it was one. And the item name will say it is a canopy or a red canopy. And then for the supplier um, order ID, obviously we don't have that, but after you purchase from your supplier, then you can just enter in the order ID number. And then the buyer username, obviously you can find that through your orders on eBay. So we'll say your best buyer for number one, something like that. And then for the gross sale, we'll say we charge the buyer $69.99. And the cost on, say for instance, Walmart was $48.49. Now say it was on sale or something. So over here in column J, it says the state of the buyer. Now for instance, we'll say this buyer is in, you know, California, for instance, which California has a standard ad rate of 7.5%. However, in some areas of California, it's 8% and some areas are 7%. So it does vary, I've seen, on the accuracy of eBay. But for instance, we'll say it's 7.5% and here is the actual sales tax rate. So we'll just round up and say it's 8% because it won't really matter much. So we'll click on 8%. So you could always check on eBay to see how it is with accuracy. If it's 560, great. If it's not, if it's say 542 or 573, then you can just change it to either 7% or 7% and things like that. So I mean like so for the example of the video, we'll say that the buyer paid 8% sales tax rate. So we'll say that the buyer paid $5.60. Now um, over on the column M, we'll say the promotion ad rate was 0% because Say for instance, we didn't put any kind of ad rate on our listing to boost in the search results. So we'll say it was 0% for simplicity. And here's a column if you have cash back. Now my um, my cards I use is um, a um, um, business card because it's a business cash back card, which offers a 1.5% cash back on all purchases. Um, if yours is zero, you can always change that to 0%. We'll say it's zero. So it zeroes out. Shipping was zero because the, the um, 
our supplier offers free shipping above orders of $35. And then over here it says eBay fee. Now for non-stores as of this year, the non-store eBay fee is 13.25%. So if we select that, it shows 13.25, which comes out to $9.27. Okay, great. And then also eBay charges a 30 cent transaction fee. So you add that there, and then you can always add that for future orders. And then you can always remove that. Um, obviously, I'm obviously gonna show negative. So we'll just remove that. So with the sale price of almost $70, and the cost of the item being 48.49, our calculation shows a gross profit of $11.20, which would be awesome. Now, here's the actual profit margin percentage which says a 16.1 percent which is great and then over here in column it shows the total gross profit is eleven dollars and twenty cents obviously as it was over here and, it, and if we scroll over a little bit more it shows our expenses so i just you know added in here say theoretically you know seek analytics was 30 bucks to actually do product research and find items and then if we scroll over even more it'll show our um, estimated net profit which obviously we had one sale minus our expenses which would be a negative eighteen dollars and seventy nine cents so guys that's it um, um it's a very very great streamlined flow tool that i highly um, i highly recommend you guys use this tool and i highly recommend that you use this spreadsheet it's a great great system that spent um, i spent a lot of time to make it and to actually you know, make it from the actual online uh, fee calculators because it just saves so much time. So now I'm going to show you guys how it actually shows into effect versus the actual eBay fee calculator. So we'll say that the sold price was $69.99. The item cost was $48.49. We'll say that we have um, no eBay fee or I mean no store here, uh, and uh, no ad rate. And for the sales tax calculation, we'll say the buyer paid $5.60. So we'll see how it looks. Boom. Okay, so here, so right here, guys, it actually went down a few cents. So instead of our actual spreadsheet, which rounded up to $11.20, the actual final fee calculator actually rounded down to $11.18, which isn't a big deal. Our spreadsheet is more accurate, and it actually shows the true cost of everything and the true expenses uh, so guys i want to show you that that it is the exact same calculation and it, um, it'll save you so much time because if you add everything here and then if you add it into the spreadsheet it just wastes extra time here in the spreadsheet is a single form of data entry to really accurately see your gross and your net sales and profit with your expenses now, say if you had, you know, payroll of, say, a virtual assistant, or you finally got an eBay store, you just add all that here, and then you add a month's worth of your sale data, and then, yeah, I mean, that's how it works. All right, guys, so I hope you got insane value from this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and please download the spreadsheet and start to use it into your stores. I highly encourage you to do that because you'll be able to accurately see your numbers and your profit and your overall estimated true net profit. See you guys in my next video. Stay strong.